Hi guys, it's Lloyd Kelly and this is the last camp update. Yeah, the camp's been going well. Everyone's starting to, to buy into the gaffer's new philosophy and what he wants us to do. Um, it's been tough out here, obviously, of course, the weather, but at the same time, it's nice to be in a different environment um, with all the boys together in the, in the same place. Um, so overall, I think the camp's, been, the camp's been really good so far. I think the gaffer's philosophy um, and what he wants all of us to do as players is to really buy into um, the work hard on and off the ball. It's clear that he wants us to play with a tempo with the ball, but at the same time, when we, when we lose the ball or when we aren't in possession, he wants us to hunt teams, teams down and, and um, win the ball back as soon as possible. Obviously at times in games, you're not gonna be able to do that. Um, the gaffer wants us to, to buy into that as, as much as we can. Yeah, definitely. I think I've definitely kind of embraced the, the character as a, as a leader um, since we've come back. I think I've always been kind of a leader on the pitch, um, whether that's by example or, or with my voice as well. Um, but especially since we've come back, I think I've kind of stepped into that into that role and help the boys as, as much as we can. And obviously on the pitch, I want to use my voice. I want to use um, like my experience and and push the boys on. Uh, well, what I'm reading at the moment is a Tim Grover book. It's the second one he's released. Um, it's called Winning. Um, it's just kind of addition on to the first one he brought out. It's called uh, Relentless. It's just about um, the kind of, the title is The Unforgiving Race to Greatness. Um, it just kind of gives it insight into the, the elite athletes in the world, You've got like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, others uh, in the NBA, Dwayne Wade and, and things like that. So it's, it's an exciting one and kind of gives you a kind of insight into what their mindsets are. Yeah, I think um, I do read regularly um, when I can. Obviously when you're, when you're here and you've got a bit of spare time and it is a lot easier to kind of open up a book and, and settle down and maybe take an hour or so to, to get through a couple of chapters. Um, but I say I'm definitely getting more into it, um, but I'd probably stay on the same kind of path into that mindset and mentality sort of genre, if you could say. The best book I've ever read. I probably, the best book I've ever read is probably have to be Relentless, or the monk who sold his Ferrari. I quite like that one. It's a bit different, but I do enjoy that one. Um, it's basically about um, a guy who basically has all these riches and um, kind of takes a, a journey on, like a, I wouldn't say a spiritual journey, but a different journey in where he wants to find himself and he gets involved with someone and meets someone who gives him a different pers perspective on life and kind of changes his mentality. Um, so I think if, it's, if you're interested in things like that, I'd definitely, I'd definitely give it a go. The closest people I'm with in the camp, um, to be fair, all of us get along really well. Um, there's a good bond between everyone, but I'd say the most of the banter I have between is Probably Dom and Phil Billing when he wants to be funny. So yeah, those two. The player who's most likely to forget their passport on the way back. I probably have to give it to Sam Sorridge. I think everyone will probably say Sam. And I don't think he'll be offended from you saying it either. Um, I mean, if Meps was here, maybe it'd probably be Meps. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have to give it to Sam Sorridge. Do you know what I think is with the climate, um, yeah, like the ice baths after sessions uh, with this climate are actually quite nice. Um, when we have ice baths back in England, but after training and things like that, they are quite unpleasant. Um, but here, when you've got a bit of nice weather around you, is actually quite nice to just take a, a cold plunge. 
the goals and aims for me next season, um, obviously number one is to get promotion. Uh, I, everyone can say that, that's, that's on the forefront of everyone's mind. Um, we know the, the levels we'll have to compete with this year and we know what we can do as a team and buying into the gaffer's philosophy, as I said before, is, it is key to that. Um, but I'd say personally, for me, uh, the goals this season is to be um, be consistent in my performances throughout the whole season and make sure I play to that level that I can uh, each game.